Hey YouTube, Bearded Bristol back with another scotch for the common man. I am nestled in on a chilly Midwestern evening and uh, have selected something rather uh, special, shall we say, for the season. It is the famous Grouse Winter Reserve. It is limited release. What that means, I cannot exactly say. Uh, Google may tell me if I were actually so bold as to inquire. But uh, maybe there's only 50,000 bottles instead of the standard one and a half million. I could only speculate at this stage. What I can tell you is a 750 of the famous Grouse Winter Reserve cost me around $35 in the uh, great city of Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I was just out there recently, uh, ran across this, and uh, knowing that I am generally a fan of the famous Grouse, I thought I would give this a shot. It is 40% alcohol by volume, and uh, it is a blender's edition. So not only is it a limited release, it is a blender's edition. Is anybody else getting a little tired of all of the add-ons and ad hoc whatnots, uh, blenders, reserves, limited releases, all of the different things that make us think this is a once-in-a-lifetime cocktail? Um, on to the matter at hand. Smooth, spicy, and warm, it say. Our Blenders Edition showcase the art of whiskey blending. Ooh, showcasing art, I like that. For each edition, our Master Blender selects a unique range of fine malt and grain whiskeys to create blends with distinctive character. Thank you, I guess. Shouldn't, shouldn't all blenders be doing that? Just throwing that out there. Um, Winter Reserve is the perfect companion for cold winter nights, yay. A uh, high proportion of sherry cask aged malts lends hints of cinnamon cloves. Cinnamon cloves and crystallized ginger. I apologize, the writing is very small. Like grandmother's sticky gingerbread. I'm going to say we could have just left that last sentence off. Uh, smoothness and spice and all the things nice. Okay, now we're starting to dip into other weirdness here. Uh, thank you for hearkening back to childhood nursery rhymes and whatnot. But uh, can we just talk about the scotch and move on? So that's what we're going to do. I am about to pop the cap. That's right. This is Scotch for the Common Man, so it's very rare for us to actually expend enough money to get a cork. That said, it smells like a bottle cap. Hmm, okay. Now, I'm a fan of Famous Grouse Blends. I have been for quite a while. I will tell you out of the nose, this is heavy on the sherry. I am not a big sherry fan. So we're, all of a sudden I'm skeptical. I wanted this to be a really great, positive, go buy this scotch kind of review. Now I'm kind of hedging. There is definitely some spice there, so I cannot, uh, cannot argue that part of the description. Um, the part about the grandmother's sticky gingerbread remains to be seen. Hopefully we're less on the sticky part. Let's find out. Mm. Okay, now we're talking. A lot less sherry... Uh, once it's actually poured into the glass, uh, the coating um, in the glass, very nice. Uh, wants to hang around for a while, I like that. Now for the uh, rubber hits the road test while we're mixing metaphors with sugar and spice and all the things nice, I guess, whatever. Yay. <sighs> this is beautiful. After a couple of recent reviews where I had to kind of lampoon said scotch, uh, the famous Grouse Winter Reserve delivers quite nicely. Um, 
it's warm going down, but not, not super smoky. Um, it's just very nice. The spice hangs around. Uh, I'm still the the original um, sip uh, is still lingering. Uh, as as I had pointed out with the glass, it coats nicely. Um, <sighs> yay, a nice scotch, a nice winter reserve, cold weather evening take the chill out of your bones kind of scotch. Um, the second taste, the cinnamon is definitely coming out along with whatever additional spices, a little bit, a little hint of pepper in there. Um, the sherry, despite being strong out of the bottle, um, is virtually invisible in this scotch, which for me makes me very happy. Um, Again, a nice lingering aftertaste. Um, none of the usual, uh, I shouldn't say usual, none of the adverse blended scotch after effects, that alkaline flavor if you watch my videos. This just really has a nice flavor, a nice finish, a very nice nose out of the glass, not the bottle. Hmm, I'm a happy man. I can't lie one bit. Uh, by no means my favorite scotch, uh, definitely still a blend, it lacks the stronger characteristics of an actual single malt scotch, but all things said, if you're looking for a nice, warm, uh, pleasant scotch with a lot of flavor, uh, but not overpowering, um, this Winter Reserve is a fantastic scotch. Never tried it before, I promise you that. Uh, it's not often I go to Las Vegas to shop for scotch. That's kind of a once in a blue moon kind of thing. But uh, I'm going to take one more swallow, give you some final thoughts, and uh, send you packing down the road to buy your own bottle of blended and or single malt scotch. Very nice. Uh, that may be one of the ultimate compliments you can give to a blended scotch is just very nice. Uh, it's, it's smooth, it's warm, it has a nice aftertaste, it has a lot of unique flavoring to it, the cinnamon, um, some butterscotch, the peppers. Uh, this is a fantastic blended scotch. Kudos to you, famous grouse, whoever you are. Uh, a plump bird, uh, game bird as I'm told, but uh, I am not a hunter unless it is a hunter of good scotch. And I bagged one here. See what I did there? I am nothing if not clever. Okay, I may not even be clever. All of that said, until the next scotch, until we meet again YouTube, take care.